Hello, Lake Lowenstein here. You can get my books on my website, lakewellowenstein.com. And we're just gonna do a couple of super quick and fun room sprays. So these are the easiest, funnest, you can make great gifts. This is a purifying room spray. And see, I just used a little sticky note that's just cute and has some cute little Japanese characters on it. And I literally just wrote it with my regular old handwriting, purifying room spray, and I used um, packaging tape to hold it on there. You do have to seal it up because the oils will rub away the ink. So I got the packaging tape across the top and bottom. And then this one is just, um, it was actually a rose water spray bottle and I just pulled the label off and wrote on there room spray. That'll fade over time. Again, because the oils do wear away um, the permanent marker even. And all I've done so far is I've just put filtered water in here. So just a little filtered water and um, that's it. And we're gonna do just super quick and easy and fun. Um, once you get a collection going, it's very fun and easy to just play around and make room sprays. So I'm gonna give these to my kids to put into their bathroom because it needs help. <laughs> so, okay. And as you know, I am not brand loyalist. I like them all. So here's a really nice lemon that I did like quite well from doTERRA. It smells really good. Um, so a lemon. And then here's I have one, Mountain Rose Herbs. They're an online seller. Sweet orange. So it's a little bit of a different scent aroma than like the bitter orange that you can get. So this one's just gonna be a really nice basic, I just called it room spray on the bottle. So I'm just gonna do some citrus. I'm gonna throw some peppermint in to find my peppermint. Oh, I do. So I just bought a kit from doTERRA, so I have a lot of those. Um, I do sometimes find the MLMs a little overpriced, but they do have good quality, so. And it's just about what you like, right? So citrus, and, and you will need to shake it, right? So I don't know if you can see it very well, but the oil does float to the top. Sometimes I just put a tiny bit of rubbing alcohol in, just 70% isopropyl alcohol, um, which does the trick too. It helps um, mix it in with the water a little bit. Some people don't like to do that because they don't want to have the scent or accidentally breathe the alcohol, but um, I do sometimes do that. If not, you just shake it up. And that's all I'm putting in. It's just, oh, I got a little on my face. Not the blend you want to get on your face. It smells great. So it's light. I just put a few drips in of each. Smells really good. It's because I just took the rose water out of this. It's only, this is the first cycle of essential oils. It still has that little bit of background with some of the rose. It's just trapped in the bottle. Um, so that's a nice really mild room spray. So I love the big ones because I, and I don't make them too strong. I can give them to my kids and they can have fun. They can spray them in their rooms. They can do what they want with them. And so then I'll make this one also just the purifying room spray. I'll make this one a little more concentrated, but I'm going to do some of the same stuff. I'm going to put a little rosemary. So making it purifying. We will be on TV if you come on here. So don't do it if you don't want to. And it'll just take a few minutes. I'll put a little rosemary. Rosemary can be strong. Again, this is the Mountain Rose Herbs, a really nice one. It can be pretty strong. So here's a, some Now. Again, this is available just at your local health food store. Now is a national brand. Put a little bit of extra of that. And I'm gonna put in some spearmint, which is like peppermint, but it just, you know, they just have different flavor profiles, not flavor, scent profiles. They're not, they're not the same. I feel like spearmint's a little lighter, if that makes sense, but it's just, it's that kind of crispy smell, crisp, not crispy, not like bacon, crisp, fresh, a little bit compared to the peppermint. And I know I have a peppermint around here somewhere. Maybe I don't. I did. Lemon, peppermint. Here we go. Peppermint is just a little deeper version of that minty one. So 
almost done with this purifying room spray. I might just put a little bit of, a um, little bit of tea tree. I don't love tea tree, I used to, but go through phases. And a little bit of eucalyptus. Again, these are now just from the grocery store, from the health food store. Don't go buy the, don't go buy some random brand. Like sometimes I love grocery outlet, but sometimes they carry essential oils that I've never heard of. And I'm like, oh, I'll pass on those. And that's it. And so with purifying, I might put a little alcohol in there. We're out of alcohol right now. So that one I know, definitely don't want on my face. And that's it. So super fun, super easy. Only takes a second. And um, you can have two room sprays. You can make them for gifts. There's so many good ideas. So have fun with it. Get my copy of Kitchen Magic and empower yourself to... You know, don't be afraid and just start playing around with all this stuff because it's great for you and great for the environment, great for your friends.